YouTube world, here I am again. Today I am going to be doing a very simple swipe with lots of negative space. So behind the scenes I have been doing some quite complex paintings um, which will be coming up hopefully next week as part of a collaboration and um, they've been really quite brain taxing. I've had to really think about them and I just I just want to do something very simple. Now I'm a graphic designer by trade, by day, um, and I love all things simple. Lots of negative space, beautiful typography. That's that's me and my fluid art seems to have taken a bit of a left curve and and it's quite complex. And I just really want to do something simple. So this painting is inspired by this little baby here. It's just a, a really simple swipe that my son did for a bit of fun. If you watched the last video, um, when I was being extremely bossy, when I was watching it back, I was like, oh, I was really cringing. Probably put people coming to workshops off. But anyway. So this is just a simple swipe, slot swipe with silver and black. So we're going to do something like that. Um, the canvas I'm using is a Jackson's uh, premium cotton stretch canvas, 19 millimeter. Um, this is their cheapest range actually, and I order them by bulk. I think they come in boxes of 10, maybe 10, yeah. Um, I really like them for their cheaper range. The stretchers always fit. Um, I haven't, don't have any problems with them at all. Yeah, so the, the size is, oh, they haven't got the size on there, which is really weird, but it's about 48 centimetres by 30. And look, sound like a drum. Um, having said that, the stretches are in and take the back and because I'm doing a lot of black negative space, I have painted the sides. Now, I just wanted to say something about the sides of my paintings, if I could grab one. So, so I take the back, this is already got tape tape to be taken off it's not quite dry but you see the sides of this painting there you go I really like the sides of paintings to look like a fluid art painting they need to look like they have drips I don't even mind little bits of white canvas I tell you why because it gives a context to the painting so you know it's a fluid art painting I, and I have ruined paintings by painting the sides because it just takes away from the character that's my humble opinion if it's a deep edge canvas or even a small canvas like this this something like this will probably be framed but a deep edge canvas I love to see the drips I just love it so everybody's different so i have some amsterdam black this is slightly more fluid from my background i have um the same black for swiping a little bit thicker i have um deco art silver and pbo silver they're slightly different and obviously the deco art silver is very very shiny I also have some golden um, iron oxide. This is the heaviest density paint. Um, I've only got a little bit left, so I want to try and use that up. And I'm just going to throw this in for good measure. This is the PBO 360. Um, one of those high velocity blue paints. So, let's see how we go, shall we? Thank you.
so it's obviously um selling up beautifully but probably a little bit too much negative space so oh there's negative space in this negative space I wish there was other people in the room sometimes to tell me what to do immediately what comes to mind is just to do this just in a, a smaller scale up here in the other corner I don't know if I want to do that though well I'm not swiping again that's for sure um, the blue is completely sunk a little bit here but I might be able to pull some of that out with some smears um, I'm going to do a little bit in the corner there I'm going to have to reach <laughs> I'm going to have to go around and reach reach round see how that goes <laughs> Look, I'm nearly on my table which is actually could hold an elephant I'm, I'm not quite as heavy as an elephant by the way but my neighbour built my table for me. He's a bespoke furniture maker, and um, you could probably stand about three people, four people on it. It's not going to go anywhere. this a few more minutes before I start dragging my stick through. I'm glad I, I did that up there. Had a couple of goes. So um, I just wanted to say a big thank you to all my new subscribers. Really appreciate it. Um, coming off the back of um, my Lovely Kathleen Osmore making me Artist of the Week. It blew me away. <laughs> I've already said all this in um, a video that is to be released next week, I think. So, at the risk of repeating myself if this comes out first, I always lose track of paintings and when they're released. Because I do so many, but just try to release one video a week. I, I lose track of where I am, what day it is, what day of the week it is even. Um, so I just wanted to explain a little bit about my channel and in, in that I, I really try and inspire people to rectify their paintings if they go wrong, what to do um, if they do go wrong and as much as possible show my mistakes along the way um, in the hope that I can inspire you all not to, or some of you, <laughs> not to give up. Um, so that's what I'm all about really. And you'll see that next week when I release this collaboration because I had four attempts and one of the paintings is completely cracked because I used a lot of high flow white and um, I wanted to do a paint I wanted to do a painting over the top to see if I can rectify it and see if I can make it work because there's just something about it I'm looking at it at the corner of my eye it's on the easel and what I like to do with the painting if I know it needs work afterwards, I put it on the easel and I leave it there for about a week and I look at it and I mull it over and I think, mm, and, and shapes just begin to emerge in your head as to what you could do with it. Um, so 
that is coming up. But anyway, I digress. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's so much appreciated. All the new subscribers. Um, get in touch. Make comments. Um, a couple of people have already asked, sent me their paintings and asked me what they could do with them to fix them if they've gone wrong. I can only suggest things that come to my mind. It's up to you guys to <laughs> make it work. Don't blame me if it doesn't. <laughs> I ought to put a little disclaimer. So we're going to break up some of these cells. I'm going to do that by using my thick end and my thin end of my little tapper stick here. I love these little things. I wash them and reuse them until there's no more life in them. Anyway, I digress. What am I going to do with this? So we've got a natural line here and a natural line there that I'm going to dry, drag the big stick through, big end through. I've left this about 20 minutes. Hopefully that will all start to fill in. <laughs> and then the thin end. Do you see, you can start to create some lovely shapes. I'm quite specific about what I'm doing. I kind of like a grapevine effect. Pulling them all in to this largest stem that I've just drawn with my stick. What you don't want to do is overdo it. Okay, don't overdo it. It's so complex and your eyes got nothing to look at. Try and focus on just maybe three. Three larger elements. Every time I'm just wiping my stick off before I put it back. I don't always do this actually. Sometimes it's nice to have a bit of paint on the end of your stick um, because then you get some lovely effects, wispy effects that come from the top. I don't, I don't want to do that this time. This is the finished one. Not quite dry yet, but um, it's getting there. Love, I, I just uh, love negative space. <laughs> Look at it, it's not quite dry at the top, but the blue is just poking through there. Can you see? I, I, I prefer the top than I do the bottom actually. Um, but the silver, it's always difficult to see on camera, isn't it? Lots of lacing, a bit of blue poking through here, here and there. Don't want to get too close to the camera, but I, I, I really love the simplicity of this this kind of painting, and I'm going to be releasing some very complex work that's been quite brain taxing over the next couple of weeks. So I just, 
just wanted to do something simple and I'm going to be carrying on with these um, in the near future, different colourways, lots of negative space. So thank you for watching. Bye.